Hi Steve Woods here, I just wanted to do a quick um, example in C-sharp of how to validate a string of text to determine whether or not it's an email address um, and so the reason, uh, the way I'm going to do that is just to fire up a new uh, console application for the purpose of this demo so we'll call this uh, mail checking so you can see we're presented with the, uh, the main program class and the way we're going to do this uh, for the purposes of the demo is just to, to uh, take some input from the console um, and validate whatever we enter against the uh, the mail address object within the system.net.mail class. Um, it's the mail address object is um, RFC 5322 compliant, um, which basically means that it it's it's easier to use that than, than uh, writing your own sort of regex regular expression. Um, pretty much. Most cases are going to be covered, um, so if you want a really, really quick and easy way to validate email addresses, this is probably as good as any, rather than faffing around with your own sort of custom regular expressions, which no one really likes. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get cracking. So, the first thing we're going to do is uh, set up our variable that we're going to check. So, we'll call email to check equals console dot read line, and that just instructs the application to uh, the to read some input from the console. Uh, and stored in a variable called email to check and what we're going to do is we're going to display a message to the user um, based on uh, a function that we're going to write that returns true or false that um, determines whether or not that email to check variable is a valid email address so what we'll do is if we'll create our function our method sorry if is valid email email to check console.write line Yes, that was a valid email address. Oops, can't type. Else console.write line. No, that was not a valid email. And that's all there is to it. What we're going to do is, um, for the purposes of, th of this demo, we're just going to wear when we reach this part of the execution of the program we're just going to reroute back to uh, the main the uh, the main method of the program we'll just pass the uh, arguments back um, so what will happen is it'll just ask you for a new email address every single time um, and you can just check as many as you like so we've got an, an error here this is obviously our function which doesn't exist that's going to check the email address itself so what we need to do is generate the method stub so as you can see it's created the uh, the method which is a boolean value going to be true or false based on whether this email to check variable that we entered into the console is a valid email address and the way to do that is we'll create a, a new mail address object equals new mail address email to check now what we want to do is that may that will fail if email to check is invalid um, so what we can do is we can wrap it in a try catch block um, so that if that if the insta if the um, creation of the ob of the mail address object fails then we'll end up in this section of the try catch block so we can just return false back to where uh, our, our function call up there and if we get here we can just return true because this uh, this has actually managed to create the mail object with an email address that we entered um, we need to add the reference to the system.net.mail namespace which will give us our mail address object and that should be it um, dead simple so let's run it we'll wait for it to pop up and all it's doing is sitting waiting for us to enter an email address so if I put mine in yes that was a valid email address if I put uh, or if I just press enter no that was not a valid email address if I put in steve at swoo.co.uk and then some spurious characters that's not valid either however if I put steve at swoo.co.uk dot home dot blah -de blah dot blah blah that should say it's still valid because that could be a network address so if you need some sort of really strict filtering on uh, addresses that um, are not valid but could possibly be sort of local addresses then perhaps you want to do some additional logic but for the sort of the purposes of this demo um, and the purposes of 99% of, of cases of email validation it actually works perfectly so I hope that's been a, of help um, I'll put all this 
this code up on online um, so that you can download it and just as a reference and uh, I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.